This is um, from a manuscript that, uh, that I've been reading from off and on for uh, about a year now. And so to many of you, um, only ones near the end uh, will be recent. So um, I'm going to make that. I always feel apologetic because like, it's not new, and I feel apologetic for laying something on uh, a listener that's heard it before. And it's about my daughter who died of cancer. And, um, and so it's chronological. Uh, it begins before it happened, and then it takes us uh, through it, biographically through it, and, um, <clears throat> and then afterwards, after the death. So, bringing her a glass of milk. Because she calls, I go into the darkened kitchen and pour her a glass of milk. The earth has stopped turning. A silver light comes through the leaves of the apple tree. The apples are deathly green. I hold the glass up to the window to tell how full it is. White the milk is, white in the darkness. I open her door. She is sitting up. Her eyes cannot believe I have come. The white sheets around her make her the calyx of a flower. I hand her the milk. She drinks. I go back to my bed and lie down and watch the red lights on the radio towers pulsing, pulsing. <laughs> 